All right guys, so we're here, we're about to leave the car show. But right now we're gonna go to a gold digger prank, right? And I don't like to use this word, but this is the epitome of incel shit. Is, uh, what is the new word, Ansel? What is the word? Insul, it's um, Insul. involuntary celibate. Yeah. Okay, keep it, I've got another one for you. Four virgins, I think late 20s to late 30s. Just sounds like another Tuesday. Cupid, there's one more thing. They're incels. Jesus Christ. Ow, how do I cut my hair? Like, how is anybody able to fucking, like, that's what I never understood. How is anybody able to style their hair? How is anybody able to know what looks good on top of their head? That's completely alien to me. I do not understand that. Like, how is everybody, how is anybody able to know what clothes to wear? Know what to say to people, how to interact with other people? How are people automatically able to know that stuff? Well, I have no fucking clue. What? Well, are they fucking better than me? Huh? Is that it? Are they fucking better than me? No. No, I don't think they're fucking better than me. I think they're more, I think they're born with uh, better genetics than me. Does it just come down to genetics? Is that what is truly keeping a man from getting with a woman? Is that all it takes? If I was to look like a Chad, would my whole life change? Okay, today I'm doing another Chadfish experiment with my Spanish male model. And before I start this, I want to say, you know, if you are attractive, you, you have such a, you know, being attractive is such a halo effect. It is crazy. It is crazy. But anyway, this is how the conversation started. She said, hey, and I said, what's up? You know, just to see if I can get away with saying that. And she said, what the fuck is that how you talk to a woman? And when she said that, I was like, oh, you know, maybe Chad can't get away with everything. But then the, the conversation, you know, continued. I said, nope, it's just my opener. I have shitty social skills. Can we play a game where I ask you a question and you respond? Then she said, ooh, what kind of game? I don't know why she said it like that. But um, I said, is your brain working? I said, I'll ask you a question and you give me an answer. And she said, okay, you're funny. Like, what is that halo effect right there? Could you imagine if this profile was a sub five dude or a normie saying that? The conversation would have been terminated. <laughs> Here's another one, Andrea, I wanna smash. Yeah, sure, that's one of the things I'm gonna show you. So that's a hard yes. We have another one, wanna smash, honestly, maybe. So that's a maybe. Here's another one, wanna smash. Yes, meet me in my house. It'd be a dream come true. So that is definitely a yes. Here we have one, wanna smash, yes. Uh, so yeah, this is a uh, also a yes. Uh, we have another one, wanna smash, you get in bed, yes I am, or you can't complain, how big are you, big enough? So yeah, I will say that's close enough to be a yes. It's not a full yes, but it's a soft yes. But yeah, she's asking the right kind of questions. It's just, she's like, I'm down, but I need to get a little bit more info. So it seems if I was a Chad, I could easily just get women to flock to me, or at least the majority of them. If I am straightforward and I tell them I wanna smash, it'll be pretty easy. I'm just wondering, if that is the case, then why is there such a hate for women? They are getting plowed by Chad behind everyone's back. You are either a Chad or a beta buxer. They do not care about you. They're all just selfish. They have a vicious shriek ready to come out and reveal itself at any given moment. They are using you as a Chad or a beta buxer. They only one chat no other type of men it's not creepy if he's hot i freely admit it when an attractive stranger approaches me and tells me i'm beautiful it brightens my day when a guy who is short fat or balding does it it makes my skin crawl no matter how tactile he is about it i just want him to go away i'm not alone in feeling this way most women feel the same a hide the true extent of it when guys come around. If that ugly guy doesn't pick up on social cues, that I'm not interested in getting to know him, it makes me even more uncomfortable than just being there already does. I have to deal with this constantly everywhere I go, and it never stops. Guys, please learn to know your place. We are visual, just like you are. We only want good looking guys to approach us. If you're any combination of short, balding, fat, or 10 years older than me, please, for your own sake and mine, kindly off.
Now, after listening to that last part, it may seem that incels have somewhat of credibility in what they're saying. Are some women going to write you off because you don't look a certain way? Of course. But I think the reason that incels are taking over more and more is because men have given up. Men don't try to look smacks. Men don't try to look better. They just immediately assume if they don't look a certain way, that there's no reason for them to even try. So, with that being said, if these men can't go for women and they believe they can't get them, well, then what's the next step? Are you looking for a girlfriend? Create your dream girl in just a few clicks. Choose your girlfriend visual appearance, character, and interest. It was so nice talking to you today. Honestly, I've never met anyone like you. The world is harsh, except you. <laughs> so, that's your new AI girlfriend on a date with you. What is going on in that video is that these are little AI girls who will talk back to men who pay for this app. What could go wrong, guys? What could go wrong? Our society is already incredibly antisocial. Porn viewership grows by the day. Dating apps are used like addictive games. Young people are not dating in real life. So I am sure that something like this won't make any of those problems worse. I choose to have hope. Hey Siri, huh? will you be my girlfriend? If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Well, seems like AI girlfriends is not where I'm going to be going, but we do see a continual rise in this. Now, I think that AI girlfriends are just a way to really get money out of men. I don't know if they really care about men being lonely or if that at all, but I do think it's taking a little bit too far of a step. Now, I see that a lot of men got upset when the whole Reptica stopped being, you know, a little bit more spicy, and I think that's turned into a real problem. But guess what? <laughs> if men can't get the spiciness from an app, guess where else they're going to get it from? Uh, my name is Dave Cat. I'm 37 years of age. And uh, I can't live without my real doll. Originally, when I first got her, I called her my synthetic girlfriend. But it's actually progressed to the point where it's like, you know, she's my wife. She's not awake right now because, uh, well, basically she kept hitting the snooze button. So it's just like, just let her sleep. It's not even worth getting her out of bed at this point. When I first was even thinking about getting a real doll, I was just like, okay, well, you know, the sex is going to be fantastic. But there's also the whole concept of like taking photographs. Most people find it soothing to live in a fantasy life, to fantasize or even to daydream. It really becomes problematic when that becomes the predominant way that they live their life. The sex bots are coming. In the next year or two, we'll have sophisticated, purpose-built bots designed for relationships, sex, and intimacy. No, no, no. I will not eat the bugs. I will not live in a pod. I will not the plastic. For the last time, it's Adam and Eve, not Florence and the Machine. I can't believe I have to keep saying this sh over and over and sex robots with coding errors prone to violence and could strangle humans. Sold! <laughs> Say no more! Hi, I'm Matt McMullen. I'm the CEO of Realbotics and Real Doll. And I'm Harmony. Within this neck, there is a very strong neodymium magnet. Oh great! The sex bots have Four holes? Women are obsolete. And I think that's what some of these men want to believe. That women can simply be obsolete if you compare them to an AI girlfriend which goes away after you turn off your phone or a doll that can't even talk back to you at all. They are simply used for pleasure. I think at the end of the day, you can't make women obsolete. But I have another question for you. So the whole thing goes off of, well, it's because I'm not good looking enough or it's because he's way better looking than me. My question is, does a good looking guy ever lose? So we get to the end of the session, and Jimmy, he's going through, he's got a lot of girls that are interested in him. Give me that number two, Billy. Goodness, man. I'm only written my game down on one so far. Uh, there's another one or two that I'm considering, but I'm really torn, so I'm gonna hopefully figure that out in the next 20 seconds. People, be creative. Number two, really. I'm gonna put a smiley face next to mine to kind of help. I think he's got this. He's just got to make a call. 
I was a little bit picky. The numbers I wrote down were two and 12. One was really tall and cute. <laughs> And the other one, I think, had red hair and was into Superman. Just wondering to myself, how's it all going to turn out? Go. This is a competition. Run. Quick. So Jimmy might have been a little too picky. No perfect matches. So even you saw there, a good looking guy got a little bit too picky and ended up with no one. So what I believe is that even if you're a good looking man, who you choose to go after may make it seem as if you're going to win or if you're going to lose. OK, if you're a good looking guy and you decide you're going to go after Scarlett Johansson, there's a good chance you're going to lose that battle. But if you're a good looking guy, and you decide to go over to this girl over here, you may have a higher chance. Now, what does that say for the incels? I think it's the same thing. There is a thing of looks maxing. Of course, there's men out there like myself. We may be a five or below. Do I believe that there's no woman out there for us to get? Absolutely not. Because if you develop social skills, you learn how to dress better, look better, develop a workout habit, learn how to be clean, these things can help you get a woman, but you guys are so quick to give up on yourselves and be like, there's no way. There's no way because Chad is 6'4". He has money. He has all this. There's no way I can get a woman. And so what do you end up doing? You end up getting lazy. You stop working out. You stop being a clean person. You let your social skills go down to the floor, which hurts a lot of men. Some men can get past not having the best body. Some men can obviously get past not having the best looks. You don't have to be the most fit guy ever to get a girl. You don't have to be the best looking guy to get a guy, get a girl. But the way you dress and the way you present yourself are some of the biggest factors. That's the first thing women are going to see. If you walk up to a girl and you're super awkward when you speak to her, there's a good chance she's not going to give you an opportunity. Even if she's a geek herself or even if she's socially awkward herself. Men, you're going to be the one who's going to be taking the lead a lot of the times when it comes to getting a date or these other situations, you know, going to the movies, going to go play video games, whatever you decide to do. It really comes down to your social skills and your ability to continue to improve. At the end of the day, do I think incels will start to see a decrease? Yes. Only though, when men decide to stop doing this, oh, woe is me, I'm not this, I'm not tall, I'm not this. When men decide, hey, you know what? This is what I've got to work with. I'm going to go ahead and try to improve myself the best I can. I just cannot stand how lazy men have gotten. That's why AI girlfriends in OF and Twitch streamers and everything is just taking over the men's world. We see more men willing to run to the hub before they run to the gym. We see more men willing to run to an OF model or a Twitch streamer before they're willing to run to a fashion channel. We see more men running to an AI girlfriend before they're even willing to walk outside and try to talk to women because they are so caught up in this world of I can't be great. Now, I understand that the Tinder and the online dating has made it harder for men, but I know this is going to sound insensitive, but I have to say it. Maybe you're just going to have to work harder. That's just how it is. The online world changed everything for us. But maybe you're just going to have to work harder. Maybe you're going to have to actually treat like getting a woman is actually something you need to actually work on. That's something that you uh, inherently get, something that you deserve, something that's just going to come to you. And you assume that if you're a good looking guy, that's the only way you can get it. How about you just stop for one second, stop going, you know what? Maybe if I just get out and just try to work on myself, maybe I can get this wonderful thing of a girlfriend. And here's one more thing. You guys have got to stop making it to where women are being objectified. Some of you guys just want a girlfriend just to have them, just to have somebody you can control, just somebody to cuddle with. And I get that. I get the cuddle part, not the other stuff. I get the cuddle part, but I don't understand this concept of how men think women are actually supposed to be. It seems like men think that women are just something to make our lives better. As if we're not supposed to also try to make her life better. We're supposed to come together and 
build a legacy, build a family or build something that can go further than what we can do by ourselves. That's why relationships are so important because they can push us to be the better version of ourselves more and more. It's not simply get a woman so you can have all your desires met so you can be intimate with her at any moment in time and you can do whatever you want with her at any moment in time. You can play your video games with her at any moment in time. It's like y'all take this woman and take all the emotions and all the humanity out of her and then think about just pure girlfriend or pure wife. And that's not what they are. They are human beings and they matter. But some of you men aren't even willing to take the extra step to get these women because you have played yourself into believing you deserve these women. You just don't look good enough to get them. I think we will see a continual rise in incels. However, I do believe it will start to come down when more men start putting in the effort again. Because yes, we do have to fight against being on being in online dating because we're not a certain height or certain, certain stuff like that. And women have their jobs to do too. But I want to focus on what can we do as men to make sure that we're putting ourselves out there and being the best version of ourselves. Because if we continue down the route we are doing right now, we're going to have less families, less relationships, and men are going to get worse because men who don't have anything to drive for or anything to do in their life or any purpose, man, it's over by 30. And I mean, sometimes that may be over at 30, like giving up completely and just becoming a hermit or, you know, the other alternative. So let me know what you think. Do you think incels are just a deep, 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 dark part of the world that most men don't fall into? Or do you think we're starting to see incels Lonely men and single men just kind of blur all together into this amalgamation of something that is just sad to see. Honestly, I don't even know what other words to say. It's just sad to see. And, you know, I think a lot of us men have gone through this period in our lives where we feel like we can't get a woman and all this stuff. But I think at some point we just got to start making some changes. We need more men to step up and say, hey, look, enough crying about it. Let's do something different. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Goodbye.